Hello, my lovely viewers and darling subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Today I have something amazing for you. I'm going to our talk about new updates on the movie Ballerina, a new Netflix thriller starring Ana de Armas and Keanu Reeves. This is not just any movie. This is a spin-off of the John Wick franchise, which means you're going to see some insane action, some mind-blowing suspense, and some jaw-dropping twists, and that's not all. I'm also going to talk about the director, the cast, the music, and the cinematography of this film. So, if you're a fan of John Wick, Ana de Armas, or Keanu Reeves, you need to watch this video right now. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. And subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews. Ballerina is an upcoming action thriller movie and a spin-off of the John Wick franchise. The movie is directed by Len Wiseman and stars Ana de Armas in the lead role, according to a recent interview with Ana de Armas. The filming of the movie has been quite demanding. She has been training for the fight scenes with Keanu Reeves, who is also part of the cast. In her interview with Jimmy Fallon, she mentioned that the fight scenes are on another level and that she is in pain and bruised after filming them, despite the difficulties. She praised Keanu Reeves for his professionalism and said that he is the best. Ballerina is set to be the fifth installment in the John Wick franchise and will reintroduce Rooney, a character we first see in John Wick 3, Chapter 3 Parabellum. The movie is set to be released soon, but there is no official release date yet. Ballerina is a film that follows the story of Okeju, a former bodyguard who seeks revenge for the death of her best friend, who was killed by a corrupt cop. She discovers a conspiracy that involves the underworld, the police, and the mysterious ballerina, a powerful figure who controls the fate of many assassins. The trailer for this film was released recently, and you can watch it here. It features a voiceover from Keanu Reeves, who plays John Wick, the legendary assassin who is Okeju's mentor and ally. He says, there's something I need to do. We then see a series of action scenes where Okeju fights against various enemies, using guns, knives, and even a can of pineapples. She also meets John Wick, who tells her, you're not the only one who wants justice. The trailer ends with a shot of Okeju wearing a red dress and a mask, and the title Ballerina. In her interview with Jimmy Fallon, she mentioned that the fight scenes are on another level and that she is in pain and bruised. After filming them, despite the difficulties, she praised Keanu Reeves for his professionalism and said that he is the best. Keanu Reeves also shared his experience working with Ana de Armas on the spinoff. Ballerina will see Ana de Armas as a ballerina assassin named Rooney, who is on the hunt for her family's murderers. The feature will take place between the events of John Wick, Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. Fans have seen a glimpse of this assassin school in the last feature, where John meets the director Angelica Huston. The trailer looks absolutely incredible, as it promises a lot of action, suspense, and twists. It also showcases the talents of Ana de Armas and Keanu Reeves, who have worked together before into other films, Knock Knock and Exposed. Both of them are great actors, who can deliver both drama and action. Ana de Armas is especially impressive, as she plays a very different role from her previous ones. She is known for her roles in Blade Runner 2049, Knives Out, and No Time to Die, where she played mostly sweet and charming characters in Ballerina. She plays a badass and ruthless heroine, who is not afraid to get her hands dirty. She also speaks both English and Spanish in the film, which adds to her versatility and appeal. Ballerina is directed by G. Malik Linton, who also wrote the script. He is a newcomer to the industry, as this is his first feature film. However, he has worked as an actor and producer before, and he seems to have a vision and a style for this genre. He has also assembled a great cast and crew, including Christopher McDonald, Big Daddy Kane, and Mira Sorvino, who play supporting roles in the film. The music is composed by Carlos Jose Alvarez, who has created a thrilling and atmospheric score. 
The cinematography is done by Trevor Forrest, who has captured the dark and gritty mood of the film. Ballerina is set to premiere on Netflix next year. It is one of the most anticipated films of the year, as it is a spin-off of one of the most popular and successful action franchises of all time. It is also a showcase for Ana de Armas and Keanu Reeves, who are two of the most charismatic and talented stars in Hollywood. I can't wait to watch this film and see how it connects to the John Wick universe and how it surprises and entertains us with its story and action. Explore. Keanu Reeves and Ana de Armas have worked together in three movies so far: Knock Knock, Exposed, and Ballerina. In Knock Knock. They play a married man and a seductive stranger who turns his life upside down. In Exposed, they play a detective and a young woman who are connected by a mysterious case. In Ballerina, they play an assassin and his protege who seek justice in the underworld. Their chemistry on screen is undeniable, as they both deliver convincing and captivating performances. They have shown their range and versatility as actors. As they have played different roles and genres, they have also demonstrated their ability to speak different languages. As they have spoken both English and Spanish in their films, they have received praise and recognition from critics and fans alike for their work together. They are two of the most charismatic and talented stars in Hollywood, and they have proven that they can create magic on screen. That's it for my review of the trailer for Ballerina. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're excited for this film as much as I am. If you have any thoughts or questions about this film, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more movie reviews like this, check out my other videos on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.